Lead Swift tutorial how to generate leads with Lead Swift. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how you can get started step by step with Lead Swift. Now, keep in mind that Lead Swift is a platform that is designed specifically for business to business interaction. So, we're not working directly with consumers, but instead, we are looking to interact with other businesses. If I'm a supplier, if I have a certain service I want to provide, if I want to provide cleaning services to businesses, if I want to provide maybe stock to certain businesses, it just really depends on what kind of industry you're in and what kind of clientele you're looking for. So for business to business interactions, Lead Swift is an amazing platform because a lot of people are trying to find leads on these simple platforms that are focused on users. However, this is not reliable for businesses to get started with because that can be a very limiting option to get started with individual interactions, building individual customers, and then converting that into businesses can be very difficult. So let's get into how Lead Swift works and how you can get started. So the first thing is that Lead Swift does have multiple different plans available as well, but you can get started for free as well. So you can just click on register on the top right over here. And once you click on register, you're going to input your name and email address, and then you're going to use a suitable password and then you're going to agree to the terms and conditions and then you're going to click on continue over here now over here you will see multiple different packages available so other than the monthly starter and annual packages you also have the free trial package so you can continue on with the free trial package to get started with lead swift if you're just looking to check it out you can easily use the link provided in the description box down below to get a seven day free trial if you do not have the trial so now once you have created your account this is going to be your dashboard on lead swift now in this dashboard on the top left you have a control panel or a control bar where you can actually see your campaigns your outreach websites and support then on the right side you actually have your trial and then your profile and account settings now to get started how can we you know start building conversations around our brand you know how can we start researching brands and more well, the first thing is you can link your website or create it so you can click on websites over here and you can get started with building your agency's name basic information about your business over here in a new website or if you have one already just link that to your account the second thing you're going to do is click on campaigns and click on add campaign over here so let's say we're going to go with their examples low performing and then we're going to click on submit over here now once you have a basic campaign ready you can input a particular keyword for that particular term or campaign so let's say i'm looking for accountant so now i'm going to search for accountant over here and you can search for a particular location so let's say we're searching in the entirety of canada and we can click on continue over here and then you can Go on ahead and do your search you guys can see it's now processing our search now once this is processing our search it's going to actually show us the total leads that are falling in the field of accountant now obviously this is a very broad search because i've done this on a very basic term on a very large location i would recommend that you are more specific with this so let's say i am looking for something pretty specific let's say we are doing something like co or marketing let's say we're doing mark we're looking for marketing agencies or something and then we can enter a location and then we're going to click on search over here and then you can get more detailed results about your particular location obviously you guys can see showing us the status of all the leads and the leads that it is processing i can click on view over here to actually see the results as well but currently it's still processing them so you guys can even see the phone numbers the websites and the contact info of that particular lead so you have the email addresses available as well and the brand name and you guys can easily find the particular business that you are looking for not a lot of people have even imagined that they are able to find this kind of data 
directly on lead swift so it's pretty simple and pretty straightforward from here now once you have searched and you found the perfect business for you you can go on ahead and take a look at the website as well and take a look at what they are requiring let's say i'm looking for maybe i'm looking to improve you know um with a new software that i'm launching that can help in accounting so i want to market that software i can go on ahead and start contacting these particular businesses to you know test out our software or try it out on a trial basis to see if they want to integrate now to do that you have to send out cold outreach which can be pretty difficult so you can go into outreach and click on templates over here click on new email template and build a standard template you don't want this to be overly fancy you don't want to include but a lot of buzzwords you want this to be pretty straightforward and to the point so this might be accounting made simple with our tech 03 software and then you're going to add your email subject obviously the person that you're sending this to and then you can start writing the rest of your email obviously the first thing you want to open your cold outreach with is usually always going to be a compliment so you're going to be like hey we've seen your firm and we find that we can although your business or firm is doing great and amazingly we think that we can help you in offloading a lot of your work with our software like that so make sure you open with that kind of line to just compliment their business first so they know that you are someone that is looking into businesses you're not just sending out a template email you actually have read about them and make sure to also customize every email just follow the basic template on all of your emails but once you are sending them to each individual person make sure to see what the businesses like to further make it more specific and tailored to each individual business now after that you also have sequences that you can build so that's a contact sequence let's say we have accountant and then we're going to add a description xyz whatever is your description and then click on add contact over here and from here you can copy it from a mail template as well and you can start you know building your customer or business relationship directly over here where you can actually see the communication that is happening between you and your fellow businesses or your shareholders now this is pretty simple and easy however i do think that you should always look to upgrade your account whenever you are looking to start with lead swift obviously the free trial is pretty limited and it's just to get a basic idea of what you are going to be able to access with lead swift so their monthly plan starts at $19.99 per month and their professional plan is $39.99 per month and agency plan at $79. However, those are annual pricings, so those are lesser. However, the monthly pricing is slightly larger. Now, in the starter plan, you have one search per day, so you can only do one search per day. However, obviously in 30 days, you can do 30 searches. Then you have the professional plan, which includes five searches per day and the agency plan, which has 20 searches per day. So I do think that for most people, one search per day is enough because once you search once a day and you have all those emails to sort through, these businesses to look through, it's pretty time consuming. So I think for most people, even the starter plan would suffice. Now, currently they do have a 50% discount running. So make sure to also get that. To be able to get the best price possible on lead swift i hope you guys found this video helpful if you did make sure to leave a like and subscribe